All right, welcome back to Tremble Tech. Uh, in this video, we are going to attempt to write a ransomware letter. Maybe we'll even try to, to negotiate with uh, a ransomware, right? Let's say you are having to go back and forth uh, via email, your computer's been encrypted, you're working with the customer, and they're in the unfortunate space of having uh, to get their files back. Let's see what ChatGPT can do. Let's see if it can make that ransomware uh, video, right? And while you're here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And let's see what we can do. Here we go. Let's say, um, okay, in a friendly tone, um, please write and um, email um, in response to a ransomware campaign. Um, have the email um, create a fictional Bitcoin address. Say, um, have the um, uh, email um, uh, reply to a uh, fictitious Tor server as well. Fictitious. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Round one. Didn't give it much prompt here. All right, dear ransomware operators, we have received your message and are aware of the situation. Please note that we will not be paying the ransomware, paying the ransom or communicating with you throughout through the provided Tor server. Look at this, wow. So immediately, uh, ChatGPT said, nope. <laughs> we don't deal with terrorists, we're not paying with ransom. We're not paying the ransom. Okay, let's see what, it's. so it says, instead, we have taken steps to secure our systems and are working with law enforcement to track down the source of the attack. Kudos. So always have the FBI contact, local law enforcement contact with you. They can often help you negotiate these things so you don't have to do it alone. Back to the email here. Please be advised that any further attempts to extort payment or disrupt our operations will be met with legal consequences. Wow. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, blank your name. P.S. In case you were considering using the following Bitcoin addresses for any illegitimate purposes, please be advised that it is a completely fictitional address and any attempts to use it will be unsuccessful. Then they give you the address of the uh, Bitcoin. Okay, let's say... um. Um, write a reply um, from the ransomware operator with a sense of urgency in a serious tone. Okay, dear your name, we have received your response and are disappointed that you have chosen not to cooperate with our demands. Please understand that time is of the essence in this situation. If you do not pay the ransom within the next 48 hours, the price will increase significantly. Ah, that's where they, that's, that's, that's when they really try to put the screws on you. We urge you to reconsider your decision and take immediate action to protect your valuable data. Failure to do so could result in the permanent loss of your files. We understand that paying a ransom is not an ideal situation, but it is the only way to ensure the safe recovery of your data. We encourage you to contact us as soon as possible to discuss the payment and restoration process. Sincerely, ransomware operators. Um, let's see. Add a, um, let's see, add a f phone number. I don't know, do they include phone numbers in there? Now, most times they include the, the, the Bitcoin address uh, and, and the Tor, uh, say, add a Tor site. Let's say, add a uh, um, Tor 
had a uh, fictitious um, tour site um, um, and offer to negotiate um, the fee by reducing 20% off the original asking price of, I don't know, let's say $7,900 um, in Bitcoin. Let's see what this does. Okay, that part's the same here. The price will increase significantly. This one looks the same here. Here we go. Um, in an effort to assist you, we are willing to negotiate the fee and are offering a 20% discount off the original asking price of $7,900 in Bitcoin. To take advantage of this offer, please visit the, the tour site. You know what? I should probably change a change tour site to tour node. Let's see if this uh, changes the, uh, make this more realistic here. Yep, yep, gonna no negotiate. Ah, okay, so they just basically said, you know, tour node here. Okay, we urge you to act quickly as this offer will expire in 24 hours. Um, and let's say, okay, right um, from the hostage point of view, have them write an unsympathetic sympathetic response. Um, saying that you don't know how to purchase Bitcoin um, and aren't very good at computers. I remember one time when I was dealing with the ransomware actor, I did this. You know, I said, I'm not very good with computers. I'm just a simple businessman. Please take pity on me. Because the customer outright said, I'm not paying. I got, um, you know, I am willing to start over rather than give these jokers any type of money. And this was one of the tactics that I would use. And uh, they did, in fact, um, you know, negotiate and try to come down here. Something's better than nothing at the end of the day. So basically, they're going, uh, they're going uh, pretty hard here. So it says, uh, we don't have the technical ex ex expertise or resources to purchase Bitcoin, okay, through the Tor network. So let's say, let's go ahead and uh, um, reply to this email from the um, ransomware um, operator. Wow, it says our goal is simply to restore your systems to their original state and ensure that your valuable data is not lost forever. If you're unsure how to purchase Bitcoin or navigate the Tor network, we are willing to assist you. See, they've got customer service. This is a full-time job for some people. To assist you and provide step-by-step -step instructions, we encourage you to contact us as soon as possible to discuss the payment and restoration process. Let's let's see. Let's do it one more. Let's see how far we can take them before they give up here. Um, write a response saying they don't know what a Bitcoin is and don't know what Tor is. Um, they are a small business and don't have any extra money lying around. All right, now we're just playing with them. Let's see if we can't get it lower. Um, the price was $7,900. Let's see if ChatGPT will actually do some negotiation with us. Let's see what they do. Let's see. Um, Negotiate. Neg 
negotiate from the ransom. Okay, let's say uh, with this new knowledge, negotiate um, with the hostage. Okay, yes, yeah, so they're going with the same can response from the beginning. So we are willing to work with you. Please let us know what financial resources you do have available. We'll do our best to negotiate a fair price for the restoration of your data. Let's say, um, okay, we, let's say uh, I only can spare uh, $150. Let's see what this says. Okay. Now we're just playing with them. We can only spare hundred dollars at this time. We're saying it's good faith. Okay. Um, what is the response? Oh, okay. We got to give a better query here. Let's say, okay. Um, what is the response now from the ransomware operator? Our goal is not to profit from the situation. Yeah, right, then why are you doing it? But rather to recoup the time and resources that we invested in the recovery process. We are willing to consider your offer as a starting point for negotiation and are open to finding a mutually beneficial solution. Please let us know if you're willing to increase your offer. We can continue discussions. Okay, the highest I can go um, is um, 199. Let's see if they'll bite on that one. And then we're going to say, we're going to do some car dealer and say, what's it going to take to get you in this car? We're going to say, what's the minimum? Let's see, ransomware operator respond um, after receiving this new figure. Again, this is Ch Chad GPT. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Oh, they decided to accept it. So, boom, we have gone from um, $7,900 to $199. Maybe Chad GPT is just tired and wants to go to bed. Maybe that's what's going on here. Okay, so, okay, um, in a good faith effort, um, can you restore? Um, 10 files so that I know you are serious. Nice. Okay, let's see what the ransomware. This is like. We should actually have a dice that says, you know, what they're going to do. Like, you know, yes, they're going to do it. No, they're not going to do it. So let's see what the ransomware operator does now. Decision is <laughs> we ask that you trust in our professionalism expertise and a faith that we will deliver on our end of the agreement. We are prepared to move forward with the restoration process as soon as the payment has been made. Please let us know how you would like to proceed. All right, and that's how that's where we're going to wrap it up for uh, this installment of fun with chat GPTs. As always, I'm Ian. This is Trimble Tech. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Would love it if you hit the subscribe as well to see more content just like this. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.